constipation in women. The normal bowel movement is one bowel movement per day, preferably two to three per day or within 30 minutes of consumption of a meal. Soft, brown, and whole in appearance and shape, non-bloody, non-mucous, without difficulty nor straining to pass stool. If you look at the Bristol stool chart, type four shows brown stool like a sausage or snake, smooth and soft. Constipation is conventionally defined as three or less bowel movements per week, three or more consecutive days without a bowel movement, straining or difficulty passing stool, small, hard, dry stool. Bristol stool chart type one shows brown, separate hard lumps like nuts, hard to pass. So, why do women have a hard time pooping? The most common cause is diet. While it may be widespread knowledge that consuming too much junk food can wreak havoc on the digestive system, there are other commonly consumed foods that can also leave one bloated and constipated, such as foods high in fat and sugar, such as red meat and cookies, dairy products, such as cheese and milk, alcohol, found in beer and wine, caffeine, found in chocolate and coffee, the lack of high fiber foods such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, and the lack of water and other fluids such as juices and teas. The second most common cause is lack of exercise. A live body is designed to stay in motion. The lack of exercise increases stress on the supporting muscles of organs such as the pelvic floor muscles, which are needed to aid in pushing stool and or waste from the body. This causes decreased blood flow to the digestive tract, which in turn destimulates the intestines to contract. Therefore, it results in increasing the amount of time food or stool stays in the body and leads to constipation. Hormones. Females undergo significant hormone imbalance throughout their life. Some hormones, such as insulin in the pancreas and excess cortisol in the adrenal glands from stress can lead to constipation. Underactive thyroid gland hormones can slow metabolism and digestion, thus making bowel sluggish and lead longer transit time of stools and weaker muscles of contraction. Menses. The menstrual cycle is an exchange of estrogen and progesterone levels. It is theorized that these increases in the hormones lead to slow intestinal movement and increase in water and sodium retention, leading to constipation. Pregnancy. Pregnancy is believed to cause constipation along the same line as menses, but due to an increase in progesterone levels, an increase in sodium and water retention, and decreased intestinal motility. Medications. Medications cause constipation by affecting the nerve and muscle activity in the colon or large intestine, leading to the slow and difficult passage of stool. Eating disorders. Few is known about the true mechanism of eating disorders and constipation, but some eating disorders can be associated with body dysmorphia, where the person views themselves very differently from reality. For example, anorexia. Anorexia is geared more toward poor nutrition or malnutrition, a restricted diet deficient in nutrients and bulk, leading to the weakening of the intestinal muscle and overall slowing of metabolism leading to constipation. Bulimia, while erroneously thought of mostly in terms of diarrhea, the binge purge syndrome of bulimia promotes frequent abuse of laxatives to promote diarrhea and unwanted calories through emesis with constipation linked more toward laxative abuse. Menopause. Menopause is another period of life 
where women, unlike men, undergo another drastic change in hormones. This can lead to emotional and physical manifestations with influences on diet, mobility, etc., all leading to constipation. Stress. Women stress more than men. Stress increases the blood flow to the rectum and anus, which decreases bowel movement and promotes constipation. Illness. In disease and illness, Constipation is most commonly seen in neurological diseases, such as diseases of the brain and spinal cord, and digestive disorders. The innate ability of even minor illnesses to affect major influence on our organs can also lead to constipation. For example, diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus, seen in young, youth, and old, damages nerves to the stomach and intestine, leading to decreased movement of food normally throughout the digestive tract, leading to constipation. Then, there's celiac disease. Celiac disease, also seen in all stages of life, occurs when the body's immune system overreacts to gluten in food. The reaction damages the tiny hair-like projections, known as villi, that line the small intestine. This leads to a decreased absorption of adequate nutrients, regardless of how much you eat, leading to a constellation of problems that can foster constipation. Here is a slide review of the 10 causes addressed in this video. Feel free to comment on other videos you would like to see, share the video, and check out the description box on how to support the channel and follow us on other platforms.